Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. Got my beverage in my Bible today. And uh, I've been thinking about an attribute of God today. Do you know what the number one attribute of God is that's discussed in the Bible? You might think it's love or grace or his judgment maybe or mercy. It's none of those. The one that's talked about the most is his holiness. But I think that we've lost touch with God's holiness these days. I think that we think that's an old school word or we think about holy matrimony like a wedding or we think about holy water in some denominations or holy communion or you can go on tours to the holy land. We use the word holy in those contexts but we don't think about God that way and what does that mean? Well the word holy literally means to be set apart, separate, other than. So God is other than, separated from the world, from us. He's not dependent on us. And Isaiah the prophet, back in the first part of the Bible called the Old Testament, had this encounter with God when he was actually called to be a prophet by God to do some amazing things through five different kings in Israel. And here's the encounter that he had where this word holy shows up. It's in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. The context is, is Isaiah is seeing a vision of angels, humans, around a throne worshiping God. And they're saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. There's only two times in scripture where the word holy shows up that way. Three times. It's right here in Isaiah and in Revelation around the throne for all of eternity. So what that really means is, is that God is not just holy. He's holy, holy, holy. It'd be like me saying uh, to somebody else if I saw that somebody, um, well, they're a big deal, and I'd say something like, they're huge. Or, but I wouldn't say they're just huge, I'd say they're huge, huge, huge. Like they're a really big deal, and you get the point. And I think that's what Isaiah is seeing right here in this vision, is that God is a really big deal. It's holy, holy, holy way se separate from us, way set apart. And our response to that is that we ought to be in awe of God. We ought to lean in and be in awe of God. But I think in our world today, we've lost touch of being in awe of God. A little fearful, actually, of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And sometimes we, we're not so quick to respond to God that way. We sort of take Him for granted, at least I do sometimes or I just assume that he loves us rather than imagining him as the king of kings. And like a king of the days of old, you would need permission to come be with him, to come into his presence. Otherwise, you could actually lose your life. Well, the good news is, is that God has made a way. He wants us to be in his presence all the time. But in spite of all that, we still need to lean in and, and think of him as a king, be in awe of him because he's holy, he's holy. And so think about that today. As you pray, as you lean in and study the Bible, as you relate to other people, interact with them, and even your family, think about being in awe of God because he is holy. He's the holiest of them all. And as a result, we ought to have a little bit different kind of respect and relationship with him. Hope that's helpful to you. We'll see you next week.